we're gonna shift gears here on you. Did you know that women are not the only ones with eating disorders, even though they are the vast majority. 25% of those who are diagnosed are males. From 1999 to 2009, hospitalization rates for men with dis de uh, eating disorders increased by 53%. Men are affected by anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorders, but they are often underdiagnosed undertreated, misunderstood, and really missed altogether as well. And treatment resources are limited because they are often geared towards women. So this morning, Dr. Julie is joining us to talk about this. And uh, there is so much to, to dive into here, yes. so I want to get to it right away. Let's first talk about uh, some of the categories that are most at risk. And I, I'm not sure that a lot of us would think of athletes, but athletes. So 33% of uh, athletes who are men will struggle with eating disorders. And that's going to be even more prevalent in weight class categories of sports and appearance or oriented categories. Think gymnastics, think diving, swimming, figure skating, and then Wrestling. any, yeah, any um, sport that actually um, people have to monitor their weight. They have yeah. to monitor their food intake, which is always going to set you up for disordered eating. And you know, something that we were discussing in the commercial break, I thought that was really fascinating. Mm -hmm. You know, in and of itself, uh, weightlifting mm -hmm. is not a, a problematic thing. Mm -hmm. However, when it enters into a category that you called musculinity, yeah. that's where it becomes a problem. What is that? Well, it's really important to know the differences between how boys and girls present with disordered eating because then we're not going to miss it as much. And so we think of females as drive for thinness. Okay. Well, in boys and men, it's going to be drive for muscularity. Okay. Muscularity. Muscularity yes. is a Got tough it. word yeah. to yeah. say, you know. So this is going to be wanting to bulk up, wanting to have that lean kind of bulk um, appearance that then is going to lead to cutting carbs, cutting fat, having more higher protein, and being in the gym for hours and hours on end. When do you know that it has entered a space that is unhealthy? Yeah, well, we really want to look at, you know, what is your self-concept and your self-identity, your self-esteem? It is, if it's excessively focused on what you look like, how you, uh, how much you weigh, then we're going to start worrying about it. Okay. So it's really important physicians, coaches, teachers, and parents need to recognize that as you said, 25% of those now with anorexia and bulimia are boys and men, 40% with binge eating disorder. You know, besides, uh, you know, striving in sports, weightlifting, yeah. there are also underlying trauma issues that we should recognize, right? It's so important that we look at the root causes. These are very serious psychological disorders. So we see between 20 to 70 percent mm -hmm. of both men and women with eating disorders have untreated unresolved underlying trauma. Right. And it's going to be a little bit different than we think. It's not going to be um, I don't want to say merely because a rape is significant, but yeah. we want to look at interpersonal trauma, yeah. emotional neglect, emotional abuse, bullying, and certainly sexual trauma. Interesting. So it, it's almost like the eating disorder is a symptom of some of these other underlying issues. Yes, because primarily if you think about trauma that's unresolved, we disconnect from our emotions, we disconnect from our body, we don't then have the ability to know what we're feeling or to self-regulate and we unconsciously turn to food and we cope in a different way and we cope in a different way Real quickly I really you know talking about it is so important so uh, Dr. Julie give your best pitch destigmatize <laughs> this make it so that folks and, and men in particular are not afraid to reach out so the if you are a man or a boy that's struggling, this does not mean that you're feminine or a girl, okay? Even though certainly in sexual minority populations we do see eating disorders, yeah. by and large most men with eating disorders are heterosexual. Okay. So this does not question your sexuality whatsoever. Your masculinity, none of it. No, it means that you are unfortunately a victim to the culture, to past trauma, Got it. and mostly to not getting healthy from the inside out. Dr. Julie, thank you for this important conversation. Thank you.